Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 145 of Optimal Living Advice, the podcast where we take any questions you might have about the many struggles of life and get them answered for you here on the show. I am your host, Certified Life Coach Greg Audino, and today I've got a listener question for you that was sent in about a struggling friendship, which is struggling due to the fact that communication is not being done as expected by our listener. Let's see if we can help her out to take some responsibility and get this relationship back on track. Here's her question. One of my best and longest friends has been experiencing a lot of mood swings lately. I've known her forever, so I know something is up, but she won't talk about it. I'm worried about her. It's clear something is wrong, and I've tried to hint at her to bring it up and talk to me about, but she won't budge. This has been happening for a few weeks now, and as time goes on, I think this is really coming between us, because I'm more and more reluctant to not talk to her about things that are going on with me. It's really not bothering me to not be more open with her either. I don't want to be petty, but if she won't reciprocate, then maybe we're entering a phase of our friendship where we play things closer to the chest. Do friendships go through phases like that? I want to be close with her, as we always have, but if this is how she wants the friendship to be, then I should respect that, right? Oh good, looks like I get to talk about psychological biases in two of the last three episodes. That's my favorite. It's honestly my favorite, I'm not joking. Uh, Thank you for sending this question in. (laughs) But if I'm being honest, you've got some work to do here. That is not a bad thing, by the way. It's just an opportunity to rethink your approach and ultimately do better for this long-lasting friendship. So, let's do it. Let's get you guys back on track. Today's lesson is about the actor-observer bias, which is a tendency we have to justify the same behavior in ourselves that we would not justify in other people. One example I can use to sum it up nicely would be if you yell at a child for calling someone, like, butthead, but while yelling at them, you refer to the child as being a brat. Well, it's okay if you do it since you're teaching them a lesson and they really messed up, but they aren't allowed to. Or... It's okay for you to be driving 75 and a 25 because you're in a hurry to an important meeting. But the other car that does it is being driven by an inconsiderate hellion who's endangering the lives of the innocent. You see what I mean? This is the trap that you are falling into with your friend. You talk about being upset that she doesn't open up with you during a time in which you are certain something bad is going on. Yet, because of that, something bad is now going on with you and you aren't opening up to her about it either. But it's okay for you not to do it. Wrong. It's okay for you to not open up because she won't reciprocate, and because this is what you think she wants for the friendship, and because she's not bid on any of the hints you've dropped. You have your justifications. You've referenced a few of them unknowingly, and there are probably more. But do you really think she doesn't have justifications of her own, some of which may be serious? Understand that if something is indeed going on, which I'll give you, there probably is, She has her reasons for not wanting to bring it up as well. Reasons that you don't know about and therefore shouldn't be judging. Be patient with her in this time and readjust your energy to be about your friend hurting rather than your ego hurting because she's not talking to you about it. I know you feel you've made an effort and done your due diligence by hinting at the fact that you're open to hearing her out. And side note, it is great. It's really great that you want to support her and hear her out. But hinting at communication is not necessarily going to inspire it. This is a very passive approach, and I would argue that because it's so passive and indirect, there are now two things. There are now two ways in which you are not fully opening up to her. Not opening up about your own troubles as you alluded to outside of her, as well as not opening up about your feelings about her not opening up. You're dancing around the issue at hand too. You're just doing it in a different way. Now, to address your question about friendships entering different phases, yes, they do. They definitely do. Friendships are always at risk for changing due to any number of twists and turns that life has to offer. Sometimes the new phases are desirable, sometimes they aren't. And sometimes those phases come with different levels of communication. But this doesn't really sound like one of them to me, only because this isn't a change that's occurring naturally. This change is not born of honesty, it is born of keeping things from one another. And Altering that starts with you, even if you feel like it's your friend that's starting the trend of not being open with you. If you two are going to enter into a new phase of friendship, again, that's an if, then let it happen the right way. 
and the right way does come by respecting her, as you mentioned, but respecting her in a way that is proactive and not reactive. That means communicating with her the same way you are with me. Tell her you are concerned about her not being more open, and that you would like her to if she's ready, because you want to help her out as her friend. And tell her about that which is bothering you, separate from her, as I imagine you ordinarily would. And if at that point she's still uncomfortable opening up more, that is when respecting her and giving her space can be done the right way, and potentially lead you two into a different phase of the friendship. That probably won't happen, though, as the chances are she will soon be ready to be honest and vulnerable with you. But that will be expedited, and she will be most at peace, and you will have done right by the friendship if you are first honest with her the way you want her to be with you. Thank you once more to the woman who sent this one in. I did not mean to slap you too hard on the wrist today, so forgive me if I came off that way. I do... Just think it's of utmost importance for you to hold yourself accountable, though, and take into consideration the many reasons your friend may not be opening up and the many ways you could be doing so better yourself. This is something I encourage of all people at all times. Now, anyone else out there that has something they would like help with, please don't hesitate to share it with us. We are here to help you. So email your question to us at advice at oldpodcast.com, advice at oldpodcast.com. Nothing is off limits. Well, mostly. You know what I'm getting at. (laughs) Everyone, thank you so much for being here for another one and for staying all the way through. I will talk to you again next time, guys. Until then.